Right, I got a message last night saying that there's a crane in Buxton. Now, these people know me too well. I know I'm gonna have to send it. So, I'm on my way to the train station. I'm gonna go get the train to Buxton and in the morning. I'm gonna climb this crane for sunrise. Next morning. And uh, if any of you are wondering why I'm climbing a crane at minus two degrees, um, an hour away from Manchester, but it's not very tall. Um, it's basically man well, Buxton's my hometown, where I'm from, um, and it's not a sort of town to have a big crane. It had one crane once before, again, not very big. We climbed that as soon as we could, but this one was younger, it's probably one of the like first couple of crane climbs that I'd done. I'd probably like my second or third one or something. So um, I got about 20 messages uh, asking me to come and hit this crane because they've just put it up. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So the beams that you have to grab um, are like look really close together which normally isn't the case when you're climbing a gym and that's why climbing gyms is so scary because anybody can climb a ladder but when you're climbing and you have to like sh shuffle yourself up a beam and you're at full stretch with a big drop below you it, it, it's not easy it's not nice it's you know you've got to know how to do it um, but this should be like a ladder so quite looking forward to it there's a friend meeting me out here with, with his drone as well I've lost mine but yeah he's hopefully gonna fly his drone uh, while I'm up there so hopefully everything goes smooth and we get a banging video right I've got about a 20 minute walk now to get there so see you in 20 minutes I know I've already had a coffee this morning but I didn't have time to drink it also I got another one on the way. Yeah, so this crane's like not very high, like I said. It's sat on a hill, so it's right next to the train station, which is like quite like right in the middle of town almost. And it's the highest point in the middle of town, without going to like the outskirts and the other bits of the village. So yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you good? Boys are over there, ready to fly the drone. See what I mean? It's not too tall, but gorgeous fucking sunrise. Right, so uh, the boys that have come to fly my drone just gave us the thumbs up. Now, I'm ready to climb, they're ready to fly the drone. I'm going to set the drone up now. I'm going to try and warm my hands up a bit. Whew. And then I'm going to go. So, 
should be fine. Oh, look at that! It looks fucking gorgeous! So at this point, I've already been sent a number of videos, like this one. And yeah, I think I need to get down because there's definitely going to be police on the way. But perks of this is that's the police station there and that's the road they come down. So they're not far away, but I can see them coming, so... Gotta be done. Can I reach it? <laughs> right, I think a quick downtime story time. Be a quick one because this is a short crane. But, right, so over there, there's like a little roof. It's covered in snow at the minute. But there's a little roof gap there. We call it Halifax Gap. Everybody in Bucks will know this story. Everybody in Bucks will know this jump, rather. Um, and yeah, there's a so there's a jump from the Halifax Bank over to um, a travel agent roof. Uh, it's only a well, it's probably only a 12 foot gap or something like that. But it's a full story, maybe a little bit more drop. So it's a it's a droppy one. It's not very nice, uh, but it's it's dead easy. Loads of people have done it that aren't even free runners. People that just like to throw themselves across things, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> we've been up there loads of times prepping it to do it and stuff because we obviously like know the consequences me and Callum who were doing it are both on the heavier side of free runners um, and that roof flexes a lot when I've seen skinny people do it it's flexed a lot so we've not been a massive fan of it but we've gone up to do it one day and like I said before the police station's there and this long steep hill is right next to that roof gap so when the police came, because we're on top of the roof of a bank, which looks kind of sketchy, and armed police for some reason in Buxton anyway, and they came down the hill, two riot vans and two armed police cars, <laughs> come flying down the hill, loads of fucking police out, and we're just like, stood there, and he, <laughs> this, this cop was like, get down, and I'm like, I'm gonna get down off the other roof, and he was like, no, if you jump, I'll lose my job. I was like, sorry mate, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> So apologies to the officer that if he lost his job, but yeah, it was a it was a funny day anyway. I got a question the other day: uh, what shoes I climb in? I just climb in the Reeboks shoes train. I just climb in Reeboks. I do parkour in um, anything with a full rubber sole. It'll be all right, really. So to the two lads over there that supplied those drone shots, you've hopefully just seen. Thank you so much. I'm gonna link their Instagrams below. And if they've got any pictures, I'm gonna throw them in at the end. So stick in for that and go follow them on Instagram. I mean a lot. Oh God, ice on it. Spoke too soon. Don't know if you saw it, I think my GoPro cut off. There's feds at the gate. So police have just come to the crane, they've just driven past my mates, so SD card's coming out just in case, so thanks for joining me on the climb. I'll do an outro in a second when I'm home, I'm warm. Right, so I'm back from the climb now, all went dead easy as I thought. It's not like a big, big site in Manchester where there's 
sensors everywhere and cameras that you've got to be dodging like James Bond. It's, uh, it was dead easy. So um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. There'll be more coming out every week if I can. Uh, in between those videos, there's going to possibly be a few van tours and stuff because at the minute I'm building camper vans as a bit of a job. So if you're interested in that, get in touch or watch the videos or whatever. Um, any support would be great. Or if you're wanting a van, then definitely message me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Oh.